you're a mountain biker. You've decided it's time to build up some new wheels for your badass shred machine. You've got rims. You've got spokes. You've got nipples. You've got nipples. You've got hubs. You've got hubs. You've, you've got hubs, right? Uh, I don't because I can't decide which hubs to use. The cheap ones are way too heavy and don't have enough engagement, and the sweet lightweight ones that sound like an angry swarm of Africanized bees are way too expensive, man. What should I do? Don't you worry. Spank Industries has you covered with their all-new Spank Hex Drive hubs. These suckers pack six high-engagement balls with a 102-tooth ratchet and a 3.5-degree engagement, meaning you can pick up speed at the drop of a hat. They use oversized bearings and a patented seal system, which creates a strong and durable hub, ready to handle the worst of conditions. They're also nice and light, with the rear hubs starting at just 300 grams. But what do these things cost? This sounds like a $300 rear hub, and you know that I said price is important to me. Don't worry, Spank has you covered. The hex drive hubs come in at an actually affordable price. The front hub is just $99, and the rear hub is just $199. Oh, oh, okay, that actually sounds pretty good. All right, put some hubs in my hands and let's build some wheels. I'm Mike from The Wasco, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how the brand new Spank hex drive hubs are an incredible value for performance. Now follow me back to the shop, and I'll show you a little bit more about these brand new hubs. Come on, let's go. So there's no doubt that the hub market these days is pretty flooded, which makes it pretty tough to find a high quality hub for a price that doesn't cause your eye to twitch. But I think that Spank hit the nail right on the head with their brand new hex drive hubs. So let's take a closer look at these brand spanking new hubs, pun intended. The word hex in geometry and mathematics means six, and the hex rear hub has six independent pawls. Each pawl has three steps, which mesh with a 102 tooth ratchet ring, creating a super quick 3.5 degree engagement. And when the pawls engage, there's 18 points of contact with the ratchet to make the pulse super strong and hold some serious power. If you've never ridden a high engagement hub yourself, just ask someone who has, and they will quickly tell you that there's just no going back to a low engagement hub. The benefit is that you don't have that dead zone when going from not pedaling to pedaling. You'll notice this most during technical climbing when you have to get up and over through a bunch of rocks or roots. Carry as much speed into the jank as possible and step on the gas for instant engagement and instant power. With a low engagement hub, that dead zone might cause your power output to hit too sudden, which will either cause your rear tire to spin out, lose all of its traction, or give you enough time to lose all of your speed, lose your balance, and have to hop off the bike. Plus, when you're ripping downhill and want to pedal for more speed, you won't feel your balance shift forward from that dead zone. With the hex drive rear hub, your power output starts immediately, which helps you maintain your body positioning and gain speed instantly when throwing in a crank while descending. Plus, high engagement hubs just sound really cool. All right, high engagement is sweet and all, but how will these things hold up? Spank knows that their customers are looking for hubs that are ready to smash through anything in any weather condition with easy serviceability, and these things have some really cool stuff going on inside. For starters, they use oversized 7 series alloy axles which are lightweight yet strong enough for any type of riding. The axles then run through oversized cartridge bearings all around for increased strength and longevity. The bearings used are in super common sizes so that you don't have to be scouring the internet looking for some weird proprietary bearing when the time comes to replace them. And to keep the mud out, there's an all new patented seal system with radial shaft seals to create a serious opponent for mud and grime trying to make their way inside the hub. This will come in handy to riders like ourselves out here in the Pacific Northwest where most of our riding is done in very wet and sloppy conditions. However, if you do ride very often in the wet conditions like we do, then it is inevitable that at some point it's going to be time to service all the parts of your bike that have bearings inside. And when the time comes to service the hex drive hubs, Spank made this easy by making the free hub removable without any special tools. This means you can easily pop off the free hub body by hand, clean out the 
Pauls and Ratchet and apply some fresh grease to keep these things spinning like new. Also, Spank is using a patented pole cap design, which keeps the pawls locked in so that every time you pull the free hub body off for service, the pawls don't just fall out. This can happen pretty easily with pretty much any other pawl and spring design hub out there, which makes it a huge pain in the ass when you pull off the free hub body for service and you drop a spring and a pawl or multiple all on the floor. But with this hub, that's not gonna happen. So if you're tired of dropping springs and pawls on the ground and searching for them for what feels like an eternity, skip that step and enjoy the easy serviceability of these hex drive hubs. Another cool feature is that the Shimano Hyperglide Free Hubs are made of lightweight alloy, but feature anti-bite, which consists of a single steel reinforced spline. You've most likely had that annoying occurrence when your individual cassette rings dig into your aluminum free hub splines, making them stuck on there pretty tight, requiring some serious force to remove. In the past, the only workaround for this issue was to just run a full steel free hub body, but of course that is just much heavier. But hey, Spank figured this out by using the lightweight aluminum free hub and just reinforced one spline with steel so that the cassette can't rotate and dig into the other splines. This of course isn't much of a selling point to those of you that are running the SRAM XD or Shimano Micro Spline Free Hubs. However, if you're still running one of those Shimano Hyperglide Free Hubs, well, you finally got a solution with a lightweight and strong free hub that you can actually trust. And speaking of strength, these hubs are gonna build up some super strong wheels. These hubs use a pretty unique flange design which reduce dish requirements during the wheel building procedure, which minimizes tension range between the drive side and non-drive side spokes. In the end, this creates a more balanced wheel because the spoke tension on the drive side and the non-drive side are more similar than some other hub designs. Drive hubs are available in all common hub spacings for mountain bikes, dirt jumpers, and even gravel bikes. So no matter what you're building, these are going to be a great option for you. All hubs are six bolt disc, and you can choose from J-Bend 32 hole or straight pull 28 hole for mountain setups or 28 hole J-Bend for gravel setups. The rear hubs also have all commonly used drive systems like Shimano Hyperglide and Micro Spline, SRAM XD, and even a single speed rear hub for dirt jumpers. Each hub has easy adaptability within compatible hub shell sizes. So of course their 15 by 100 front hub will also fit a QR by 100, 12 by 100, et cetera, et cetera. Also, if you're running a torque cap compatible RockShox fork up front, they do have torque caps available for their front hubs as well. And these hubs do include some commonly used end caps in the box. However, if you're building up a bike that requires a little bit different spacing than what is included in the box, well, you can purchase those separately and adapt these hubs to fit on pretty much any bike out there. Also, the end caps are easy to work with and just pop off by hand, making them easy to switch. And to make things even easier, their front hubs use the same end caps for both sides and their rear hubs use the same end caps for all driver styles, making it super easy to keep track of what goes where. So if you switch from a SRAM to Shimano cassette, simply just buy a new free hub body and use the same end caps that you had before without the need to buy new ones. Availability for color is only anodized matte black with laser engraved logos, which makes matching your bike easy. And if you've got an e-bike, Spank has you covered. All of their free hub bodies are available in steel for increased durability for that extra power. Overall, the hex drive hubs are just super adaptable and easy to convert sizing and pretty much every rider is going to be soaked on that. You know what else riders are stoked on? The weight. Nice and cheesy. Spank took weight seriously with these new hubs and the front hub starts at just 137 grams and the rear hubs start at 300 grams. When looking at the most common size set of hubs we use here for wheel builds, 15 by 110 boost front and 12 by 148 boost XD rear, the front hub weighs 173 grams and the rear weighs 310 grams. Spend some time poking around and you'll see that these are definitely on the lighter side of hubs on the market. Are they the absolute lightest? No, but they definitely fall into that lightweight hub category. All right, now let's take every part of these hex drive hubs into consideration. What do you guys think these things cost? 300 bucks for a rear hub? How about 350 bucks for a rear hub? How about less than that? Simply put, these hex drive hubs are an insane value for the performance. Front hubs are just 99 bucks and the rear hubs are priced insanely competitive at 199. Again, poke around and check out other popular mountain bike hubs. Typically, rear hub prices do start around 200 bucks. However, most of those options are either going to be heavier and or have less than half the engagement of these hex drive hubs. Hope Pro 4 rear hubs, which we use quite often, retail for 225 bucks with a nearly identical weight but only have a 44 tooth ratchet with 
2.2 degrees of engagement. And the Industry 911 hubs are 15 grams lighter, but sell for 285 bucks and have four degrees of engagement. So yes, the 11s are lighter, but they also are $85 more and have less engagement. Of course, the pro of going with a company like Industry 9 is that all their parts are made in the USA. However, bottom line pricing is important to a lot of people, which makes these a pretty attractive option. Well, there you have it. That was a nice and in-depth look at Spank's brand new hex drive hubs. So what do you guys think about these things? Do you think that these are an awesome value for performance? Let us know in the comments below, below. If you'd like to grab a set of these hubs yourself, click this link right here, go over to the product page on our website. And if you're building up a whole new wheel set, you can actually click the custom wheel builder link at the top of our website and we'll help you build up a set of brand new wheels that are perfect for you and your riding. Until next time, happy trails. The weather in Bellingham doesn't actually suck right now, so I've got some riding to do. Peace out, later.